Hello. Hi. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Welcome, Good evening. campus. Good evening, Oscar. Welcome. Good evening. Good evening, Miguel. Welcome. Oh, happy to have you here, Miguel. Qué bueno tenerlo acá. Excelente. Okay. Excellent. Vemos a alguien aquí de fondo que juega Clash Royale, por lo visto. Excelente, eh, Jacobo. Tenemos Good, evening, teacher. Good evening, Jacobo. Welcome to the class. Excelente. Tenemos también a Verónica por acá. Welcome, Verónica. Ruth Asensio. Welcome. Excelente. Y tengo a José Alfredo de nuevo. No lo puedo creer. Welcome, José Alfredo. Happy to have you here again. Qué bueno que estén acá. Excelente. That's good. Ok. Veo que tengo nuevos participantes, participantes que ya nos conocíamos. Ahí vamos. But candy. I have candy again. Welcome. Good job. Nos mantuvimos, ¿verdad? El grupo se mantuvo. Hay varias personas aquí que estamos de antes. Johnny se me viene conectando de oyente ya. Rafael Antonio está ahí también, Hernández. Ahora tenemos dos Rafael Antonio, ¿no? Sí, tengo dos. I have two now. Excellent. Give me a minute. <coughs> ¿Y los demás qué nos está pasando? Where are we? Ramiro, ahí está Ramiro. Excelente. Good job. Dicen acá. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, José Alfredo. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Excelente. Ok, good. No, pero usted no, ya, ya usted no tengo que decirle teacher, no que. Miss. Exactly. No solo a mí, a todos tendría que ser así. Miren, no sé dónde ustedes están, pero aquí está haciendo un calor, por eso me veo tan brillante. I guess it's really hot in here. Sí, mucho calor, mucho, mucho calor. It's really hot. Dice Ralph Martínez, estaré de oyente. Ok. Primera clase y me están poniendo de oyente. No. What is happening? It's not correct. Recuerden los audios. Voy a estar abierto el micrófono y usted le está diciendo, ¿por qué no metiste la ropa si yo te dije que metiste la ropa? Ah. <ríe> ya me ha pasado, ya me ha pasado. Ya les he contado que he escuchado problemas familiares. Yo no me quiero dar cuenta. ¿verdad? Y después nos hacemos virales en TikTok. Porque acuérdense que esto queda grabado en YouTube. Ok, bien. Tengo varios participantes ya, unos que me acompañan con cámara, otros que no me quieren acompañar con cámara, ¿verdad? No, no, no me quieren acompañar con cámara, solo quieren estar en lo incógnito, ¿ok? Les doy un chancecito ahí para que se arreglen las cejas, para que me digan así, nos veamos presentables, ahí está, excelente. Ya nos acompaña José Alfredo también. Vamos a ver quién más menciona la camarita. Recuerden que es un requisito tener esa camarita encendida. So, if you can do that, I will appreciate it. Recuerden que asistencia se basa en minutos, no solo en decir present y después irse. También es el estar presente, ¿verdad? Con la cámara, eso indica que estoy aquí fully y no solamente así como en el aire, ¿verdad? <coughs> bueno. Me presento para las personas que son news, like when this class, que estamos eh, primera vez conmigo, es, uh, my name is Diana Rodríguez Sayas, okay, that's my name, and I'm going to be your teacher this module, aunque soy su teacher, teacher literalmente significa docente, por lo que prefiero que me llamen Miss Diana, en lugar de teacher, ¿verdad? Porque teacher es como decir docente Diana, se escucha bien raro, ¿no? So the best way to say it is Miss Diana. Si tienen un teacher que es a guy, we say Mr. ¿verdad? But in my case would be Miss Diana. Por eso me dice, ¿usted le tengo que decir Miss Diana? No, así es. <laughs> That's the way we do it, okay? Oh my God, it's really hot in here. Ah, oh my God. Está haciendo mucho calor, no sé dónde ustedes están. Is it hot where, where you live right now? 
My God, acá está haciendo un calor. Desde que cayó esa tormenta en San Salvador, ha quedado un calor tremendo. Acá no llovió. Yo sé que en San Salvador llovió, ¿verdad? Ustedes están en San Salvador. It, it, it was raining, right? It llovió y yo vi los videos que llovió como que apocalípticamente, right? Yesterday, rain. Yesterday, Very... too? Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. I saw the video. I think it was Monday or Sunday. No sé qué día fue. Monday. El día que hay una Monday. tormenta así apocalíptica. Y el domingo. Okay, it was Sunday. Sí. Okay, yes, yes. Pero no fue más fuerte la de ayer. It was really. Oh, sí, habían ya rillitos de, de agua donde estábamos en, en la bici hoy en la madrugada. Oh my God, that was hard. Okay. Y acá nada, acá, acá brilla por su ausencia la lluvia. La lluvia dice, mm, no, no me gusta Oriente. O no sé, Sandra, ¿ha llovido por allá? No, ¿verdad? Hola, mi sola. Compañero, no, no ha llovido. Y es un poco caliente. ¿Verdad? It's sí. really hot. Yo creo que es esta presión que está haciendo como el, la presión del... De, de, del agua, ¿verdad? La humedad, se siente un calor increíble. O sea, hoy en la mañana me bañé para ir a trabajar, ¿verdad? Y en cuestión de que en lo que me bañé a las, pónganle a las cinco y media, a las siete que estaba en el trabajo estaba sudando, pelo mojado y sudando. <ríe> o sea, era like, it was really bad, mucho, mucho calor. Pero bueno, ya no hablemos del clima, let's talk about the classes, ¿ok? Se escucha cortado. Mm -hmm. ¿Será que me escuchan todas y todos cortado o solo el compañero? Yes, only the classmate. Okay. Yo lo escucho bien, Miss. Yo lo escucho bien, Miss. Ok. ¿No me escuchan un poco ronca? No. Yes, Yo lo escucho bien, Miss. Aquí ya empezó a llover algo fuerte. Oh, ok. Por eso está haciendo calor. Mira. Está lloviendo. ¿A dónde es el reporte del clima, dicen ahí? ¿Ya reportó clima? El reporte del en clima. En Vasco, ya está lloviendo. <ríe> en Hilo Vasco está lloviendo, ok, ok. No, yo ando súper um, ronca porque creo que, te, o sea, he tenido una crisis de rinitis, así que me he puesto así. El puesto el cambio el clima, es el clima, es el clima. It's like, I don't know, it's so many things happening. Bueno, so now uh, we waited a long time for some classmates to join the class, but now we're going to go with the attendance because, you know, that's the first thing we got to do when we connect to the class. So remember, when I call your name, you can say present or you can say I'm here, okay? So let's see. Cosas para recordarles de este módulo, no tenemos eh, clases el 1 de mayo, tampoco tenemos clases el 10 de mayo, ¿verdad? Ya lo saben, ya, ya, empezando y hablando de vacación y José Alfredo ahí emocionado con todo. Y José Alfredo, a la, a la, José Alfredo, usted siempre me acordaba en el módulo anterior que es, lo esperaban los viernes en la noche, ¿verdad? Sí, teacher, pero hoy soy un hombre de bien y voy a cambiarse. Ah, ok, ok, vaya, vaya, bueno, entonces es otro asunto, ahora es para mí mismo. Solo, solo que les he dicho de que de tres para arriba sí me voy, pero de dos no. ¿Qué? Me de tres para arriba sí me voy, pero de dos no. ¿De dos para arriba no se va? No. No es cuenta. <risa> Ok, ok, bueno, well, it, it, it is what it is. Bueno, les decía, 1 de mayo, que es primero de mayo, es asueto, no hay clases, primero de mayo no habría clases, y tampoco el 10 de mayo, que es el, la semana siguiente, el miércoles tampoco habría en clases, para que tengan ahí en cuenta esos dos días, el del 1 de mayo pues sería un fin de semana largo, porque es lunes, y el 10 de mayo, miércoles, pero a mediados de semana, ahí tenemos una vacation. Ok, let's start with the attendance. Pero les queda esa noticia, yo sé que les agrada ya saber de vacation. <ríe> Ana Verónica Hernández Rodríguez. ¿No? Blanca Isabel Tunaca de Rodríguez. My God, Cándida Luz Ortiz de Escalante. Present, Miss. Excellent. Carlos Alberto Meléndez Rosales. I'm here. Excellent. Um, dígame si le menciono bien su nombre. Clelia Estela Flores Hernández. Present. Sí, está bien. Ok, excellent. Eric Giovanni Jiménez Canizales. No. 
um, Eric Josué Reyes Molina. Present teacher. Excellent. Welcome again. Thank you, teacher. Fernando Salvador Figueroa Rosales. Según lo que veo, tengo personas que han vuelto a mi clase. Jacobo de Jesús Gómez Gómez. Present, Miss. Excelente. Jenny Carolina Vázquez de Medrano. Ah, Jenny dice porque estaba ingresada, ¿verdad? Johnny Alexandre Escobar Calderón. Present, Miss. Excelente. Jonathan José Oliva Enríquez. José Jonathan. José Alfredo Hueso López. Present, Miss. Okay. Jocelyn Angelina Ramírez Melgar. Por ahí vi que se conectó. Jocelyn Angelina Ramírez Melgar. Creo que la vi. Oh, sí, ahí está. Bueno, tal vez me conteste la siguiente. Julio César Aguillón Arevalo. Present. ¿Lo dije bien, Aguillón? Yes. Ok. María Julia Ramos Olivar. No nos acompaña todavía. Miguel Ángel Romero Hernández. Present, Miss. Ok. Oscar René Molina Calidonio. Present, Miss. Rafael Antonio Hernández Castillo. Present, Miss. Rafael Antonio Martínez Navarrete. Present, Miss. Tengo a dos, Rafael Antonio, ahora. Ah. Ramiro Rafael Aguilar Díaz. Present, Miss. Ok. Ruth Guadalupe Asensio Arevalo. Sandra Yanira Gómez Romero. Present, Miss. Ok. Ruth está por ahí. Ruth Guadalupe Asensio Arevalo. Creo que me pareció ver a alguien. No, no sé si me escucha. Ah, de fondito, pero sí la escucho. Ahora sí la escuché. Sí, dije present. Ok, mm -hmm. bien, ahí. No sé si es el internet, pero también la cámara me está fallando. Ahora sí la escucho, bien. Pero sí. está bien, it's ok. Gracias. Silvia Patricia Aceituno Méndez. Present, Miss. Excelente. En Verónica Elizabeth Burgos Rivas. Present, Miss. Excelente, bien. Ana Verónica se me acaba de conectar. Ana Verónica Hernández Rodríguez. Eh, tengo problemas con la lluvia, pero soy fui de la segunda. Ok. Ana Verónica. Ok, excelente. Good. Bien. Ok, la lluvia nos está dando problemitas ahí. Bien. So, welcome to the class one more time. Remember that the things that we have to do, remember las cosas que tenemos que hacer, is we have to work in the platform. Tenemos que trabajar en la plataforma. That's something that we gotta do. Tenme un segundo, permítanme. Okay, so, sorry about that, sorry. Um, tenemos que trabajar en la plataforma. We have to work in the platform. Vamos a seguir trabajando así como hemos trabajado el módulo anterior. Pero vayan trabajando conmigo. No esperen a que el tiempo nos llegue, ¿verdad? Vayan trabajando al mismo tiempo conmigo. The other thing is um, we have to be here. Saben que estar presentes acá <coughs> es estar las dos horas clases. Si usted se conecta una hora todos los días, al final eso va a ser un 50% de eh, asistencia, no un 80%, que es el mínimo requerido para que nosotros podamos pasar al siguiente módulo, ¿verdad? La otra cosa que eh, siempre es un requisito es tener las cámaras encendidas. Eh, en la medida de lo posible, intentemos que eso sea así. Los micrófonos apagados, solamente cuando vayamos a decir algo, o sea, vamos a decir algo, los encendemos, porque de lo contrario, eh, pues se pueden salir ahí en un meme de que alguien les diga algo, ¿verdad? We have to say, de que alguien les diga algo y salga ahí un meme y no queremos eso, ¿verdad? We don't want that. So we have to be careful with that. Tenemos que tener mucho, mucho cuidado. No sé si tienen preguntas, if you have any questions, para los que se acaban de conectar, again, my name is Diana. So I'm Miss Diana, you can call me by that. Preguntas, questions, nope. Ya entraron a la plataforma, mm -hmm. everybody have, okay, tell me. Mm -hmm. Yes, Ruth. 
Ok, eh, sí tengo una pregunta. Fíjense que yo entré donde tenemos el material, uh -huh. pero no sé si solo a mí me aparece un material con seis páginas. Ah, ya creo que creo que sé lo que es lo que pasa. Miren, vale, pues les explico ahorita. No es primera vez que me sucede esto. Vale, ahorita les muestro. Acá, esto es mucho mejor, porque así yo si voy por una unidad no tengo que ir bajando todas las páginas. Miren, acá la introduction, introduction tiene seis páginas. Pero si acá presiono en esto donde dice Unit 1, me va a cargar la unidad 1 con 10 páginas. Luego, la unidad 2 con sus páginas, unidad 3 y unidad 4, así sucesivamente. ¿Yes? Ah, ok. Ok. Perdón, muchas gracias. No, it's ok. Sí, ya me había pasado esto antes. Ok. Um, any other question? No more questions? Nope. So eh, we can... Yo, Miss. Miguel, perdón. tell me. Eh, solo quería saber si después de este sexto módulo vamos a tener una certificación. Porque sería el final del módulo de principiante, ¿verdad? Eh, ¿No les han mandado certificaciones de los anteriores? Mm, que yo sepa, ¿no? Mm. Yo creería, no, no lo mandado. yo creería que sí, o sea, lo importante es siempre en algún momento le van a llegar todos los diplomas de un sol, porque tardan que lo manden a Insafor, que los apruebe y todo eso, pero esta pregunta creo que sería mejor si se la pueden hacer a los gestores, porque ellos se encargan de todo lo administrativo, ¿verdad? Entonces, si pueden comunicarse ahí con un gestor, igual yo puedo preguntarles a ellos, si no me recuerdan para poder comunicarme con ellos. Y que, dame un segundo, aquí les voy a, voy a preguntar ya mejor. Ah, ya pregunté, porque si no, después se me olvida. Mejor ahorita. Ok, <ríe> vamos a ver qué nos dicen. Esperaría que sí. Yo creo, usualmente lo que hacen es que si un participante se retira, porque el último diploma es el que les cuenta, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, cuando llega el avanzado, ese es el más importante. Entonces, eh, va contando así. Pero si un participante se retira y pide su diploma ya, yo sé que se lo mandan y que agilizan un poco el proceso. Pero igual, déjenme averiguar bien y que me den una respuesta concreta para no darles respuestas en el aire, ¿ok? Gracias, Miss. Ok. Uh, another question? Do you have any other questions? Nope. And also, remember, we are module number six. This is basic number six. We are about to be intermediate. For that reason, expect me speak more English than Spanish, okay? And also, I will hope that you speak more English than Spanish. And don't worry, I'm not gonna speak really fast because this is not an Eminem song. I'm gonna speak slow so you can understand me, okay? If you have questions, If you don't understand what I explain, you can ask me, Miss, can you repeat that again? Or this is like a last resource, but if you want me to, you can say, can you please say that in Spanish? But just, just like in emergency cases, okay? But otherwise, I will like you to speak more English. Pero no por eso no vayan a dejarte de participar. Because I know you. <laughs> so I will expect you to participate the same and speak more English. Easy English using basic words. Okay? Así si le entendimos, Miss. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to speak slow. I promise. I'm going to speak slow. And you use your words to ask. And I will answer slowly. Okay? Don't worry. We're getting there. Okay, as you know, uh, we have to start with the manual that is here in the platform. Uh, we have the unit number one, and the unit number one, we are going to be talking about job 
listings, okay? That is the topic, job listings. As the first topic, we have can. Remember, we use can for ability, okay? So for example, I can play basketball. I can speak English. And that's why, that's why I always tell you, don't use can to ask to go to the bathroom. No usen can para preguntar por el para ir al baño. Because if you tell me, can I go to the bathroom? Can I go to the restroom? ¿verdad? That's wrong. Okay? Porque yo le voy a decir, ¿y usted puede? Le enseñaron de chiquito. So can is ability. To ask for permission is may, right? So it's better to say, may I go to the restroom? No, can I go to the restroom, okay? Because I think you have the ability to go to the bathroom, okay? <laughs> I think everybody does, okay? <laughs> so we're gonna continue here. <clears throat> and we have this. Creo que ustedes son el grupo que más enferma me avisa, qué barbaridad. Okay, so um, we're going to continue here in this part, and we're going to go with the conversation. Yes, you know, I'm going to read the conversation twice. The first time I'm going to read it for pronunciation, and the second time I'm going to read it for intonation. Let's go. Hello, Ben, and welcome. My name is Andre Rivera. Nice to meet you, Mr. Rivera. We are offering a manager position for a branch in Honduras. People in the United States say Honduras, in Honduras, but we speak Spanish. Yo prefiero, si uno habla español, que lo pronuncie bien, right? Honduras. What is branch? Do you know the meaning of branch? No, cursal. Exactly. Literally, it means rama, but in this context, means sucursal. Thank you, Miguel. Position for a branch in in Honduras. What qualifications qualifications do you have for this job? Well, I can speak. Unamos esto. Let's join this. Can speak can speak. Well, I can speak English. Also, I can manage small and big projects. And I am very good at sales. That sounds great. Can you speak Chinese? Oh my goodness, yo no puedo. And what about using, no using, verdad? You, you, using, what about using spreadsheets? Do you know what is a spreadsheets? Hoja de cálculo. Exactly, Carlos. Thank you very much. Yes. It's like the ones, uh, spreadsheets, sería más o menos las que están en, en Drive, verdad? Si se les llama, diferente a las de Excel. Lo mismo, pero con diferente nombre. <laughs> can you use them? I can speak little Chinese, but I can't use spreadsheets. My God, yo sería al revés. Puedo usar un poco spreadsheets, pero Chinese, nothing. But I am, guantan puedo decir, but I am <laughs> a fast learner. I get it. Alguien me dice qué significa esa frase. I get it. Do you know the meaning of that phrase? Entendí. 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 Okay, exactly. Entiendo. That will be like a synonym to I understand, right? Get it. Entiendo. I get it. When can you start? Ya lo contrataron. Oh my goodness. When can you start? Okay. Do you need me to repeat a specific pronunciation? Or do you need me to tell you the meaning of something? Nope. Now, remember, I just can read you, it. What is it? Uh, uh, the, uh, your um, um, 
¿Cómo dice Jonathan? ¿Cuál dice? Sí, eso, no sé cómo se pone. ¿Cuál? I don't, I don't know. Pero no, sí. no, ¿cuál? Uh, 26 minutes. Spreadsheets. Uh, no. La palabra, por decir, en chino. Okay. Chinese. Uh -huh. Chinese. No, Chinese. Uh -huh. Chinese. Yes, it's Chinese. Chinese. Okay. Okay. So, remember, I just read this conversation like pronunciation. But in the real life, nobody speaks like that. Huh? Nadie habla así en la vida real. So, now, I'm going to read it with intonation. La entonación es como ustedes deberían leerlo, ¿verdad? Ah, miren, me dicen que en... Oh, ok. Les voy a comentar esto porque es importante que lo sepan. Me están diciendo que los grupos de inglés para el trabajo, que son ustedes, Insaforp otorga los diplomas, no nosotros. Así que ellos, bueno, ahí está Mauricio. Eh, les estoy comentando lo que me decía Mauricio, que Insaforp es que da los diplomas. Entonces, ¿los alumnos deberían esperar un diploma de Insaforp, Mauricio? ¿O, o solicitarlo? Hola, buenas noches. Eh, ¿Me escuchan? Perfecto. Eh, sí, para comentarles a ellos, eh, ya que ustedes son del grupo PENIP, a ustedes sí, propiamente INSAFOR es el que les está entregando los diplomas. Normalmente ellos son los que se los dan a ustedes las certificaciones de cada módulo. Y ellos se los van a enviar, de, o sea, sa sabemos de qué manera se los envía INSAFOR a ellos, Mauricio. Eh, sí, normalmente ellos los están enviando siempre ya sea el correo o se tratan de comunicar con ustedes. Si gustan, en este momento voy a estar verificando por lo que me comentó. Ajá, ok, por favor, si me ayuda ahí verificando cómo se pueden ellos contactar, porque algunos quisieran su diploma, ¿verdad? Vaya, perfecto. De igual manera, como les comento, sí, con Insafor sería la entrega de los diplomas, ellos se encargan en este okay. grupo. Ok, bueno, ok. Feliz noche. Thank you, gracias, Mauricio. Bueno, entonces es Insafor que les manda los diplomas a ustedes, ¿verdad? A mí no me han dado ninguno de los cinco módulos. Sí, lo que pasa es eso, que Insafor está tan lleno de programas que a veces no entregan eh, los diplomas así como constantemente, se tarda un poquito. Pero yo digo que si ustedes se comunican, o bueno, tal vez nos averigüe el compañero cómo podemos hacer para que nos puedan entregar los diplomas, ¿verdad? Ya vamos a ver eso. De que se le da solución, se le da solución. Vamos a esperar para tener una respuesta concreta. Well, as I was saying before, now we need to um, go with intonation, like we say it in a normal speaking, okay? <clears throat> Hello, Ben, and welcome. My name is Andre Rivera. Nice to meet you, Mr. Rivera. Um, we are offering a manager position for a branch in Honduras. What qualifications do you have for this job? Well, I can speak English. Also, I can manage small and big projects. And I am very good at sales. That sounds great. Can you speak Chinese? And what about using spreadsheets? Can you use them? I can speak little Chinese, but I can't use spreadsheets but I am a fast learner. I get it. When can you start? Okay. This is the pronunciation I hope you to have. It's the pronunciation que debemos tener, ¿verdad? The pron the good pronunciation. Oh, Jocelyn me dijo que estará de oyente por tema de salud. Okay, perfect, I understand. Okay, so we're gonna uh, go with intonation. Les voy a mandar un audio del grupo de WhatsApp. Like always, I'm gonna send you the audio to the subgroup so you can practice. Hello, Ben. And welcome. My name is Andre Rivera. Nice to meet you, Mr. Rivera. We are offering a manager position for a branch in Honduras. What qualifications do you have for this job? Well, I can speak English. Also, I can manage small and big projects. And I can, and I am, ah, voy a volver a mandar ese audio, no me gusta eso. Hello, Ben, and welcome. My name is Andre Rivera. 
Nice to meet you, Mr. Rivera. We are offering a manager position for a branch in Honduras. What qualifications do you have for this job? Well, I can speak English. Also, I can manage small and big projects. And I am very good at sales. That sounds great. Can you speak Chinese? And what about using spreadsheets? Can you use them? I can speak little Chinese, but I can't use spreadsheets. But I am a fast learner. I get it. When can you start? Ahí tienen el audio para que podamos practicar. So you have the audio there. So we can practice. Remember, intonation is a key. Intonation is very important. Not only pronunciation. No, no. Intonation. As I told you before, les he dicho muchas veces en módulos anteriores. En español nadie habla. Hola, ¿cómo estás, Pedro? Hola, yo estoy muy bien. Con esas pausas. Nadie habla así. Nobody speaks like that. Maybe cuando estamos en kinder. Yo soy Pedrito. Right? Something like that. But nothing, nothing else like that. Pero intonation es muy importante para expresar esos feelings en English, right? Pero no nos escuchamos tan robóticos. Ahí tienen el audio. You can listen to the audio. And we're going to go and practice fully now. Tomen turnos y aprovechemos esta oportunidad que es you, your time to practice. This is your chance to practice. Okay, let's go. Ahí aceptemos las invitaciones a los breaker rooms. ¿Ya les llegaron? Ahí están las invitaciones para que podamos unirnos, por favor. Eh, si pueden, apaguen las cámaras para que les salga más fácil unirse a los grupos, porque tal vez el internet me les está fallando. Vamos okay. a unirnos ahí. Tal vez ahí me les deja unirse.
Miss, me podría incorporar en algún grupo, fíjense que no sé por qué me sacó la plataforma. Tal vez el internet, si gusta apague la cámara para que le sea más fácil unirse ahorita. Bueno, okay, voy gracias. a unir, I'm gonna join you to the break room three. Okay. Eh, ahí está, let's go. That's all. Can you speak Chinese? And what about using a French? Can you use them? I can speak a little Chinese, but I can use Spreadsheet, but I am a fast learning. I get it. When can you start? Thank you. Okay. Gloria, otra vez cambiamos, ¿verdad? Okay. Hello, Ben, and welcome. My name is Sandra Rivera. Nice to meet you, Mr. Rivera. We are offering a manager position for a brand in Honduras. What qualification do you have for this job? Well, I can speak English. Also, I can manage small and big projects, and I am very good on sales. That's... Bien, puede ser Ben. Ah, pues yo voy a ser Ben para practicar bien solo y ahí se quedan las otras paredes. Bye. Shoot. Hello, Ben. And welcome. My name is Andrew, Andrew Rivera. Nice to meet you, Mr. Rivera. We are offering a manager position for a branch in Honduras. What qualification do you have for this job? Well, I can speak English. Or I can manage a small and big project. And I am very good at sales. That's so great. 
can you speak Chinese? And what about using expressions? Can you use them? I I can speak little chin, chin, ¿cómo se decía esa palabra? Chinese. Chinese. Ah, I, I speak little Chinese para and what about and what about using switches? Can you use 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 them? I can speak little Chinese, but I cannot use switches. But I am a fast learner. Spreadsheets. Spread Falta la última línea, André. Would you like practice with me? Yes. Okay. You start? I'm yeah, yeah, I'm starting. Okay. Hello, Ben. And welcome. My name is Andre Rivera. Nice to meet you, Mr. Rivera. We're offering a manager position for a branch in Honduras. What qualification do you have for this job? Well, I can speak English. Also, I can manage a small and big projects, and I am very good at sales. That sounds great. Can you speak Chinese? And what about using a speak sheet? Can you use them? I can speak little Chinese, but I can't use spreadsheets, but I am a fast learner. I get it. When can you start? Okay. Uh, and switch uh, the person switch. and I, Ben. Okay. Hello, Ben. Hello, Silvia. ¿Será por la lluvia? Creo que sí, porque aquí ya comienza a llover. ¿En qué sala estaba? ¿O no se logró conectar? Es que, es que conectándome iba, creo que era el uno. Ok, ahí le envío. Gracias. Quiero felicitar a las personas que están utilizando full English. Congratulations, because I went to the break rooms. And even when they are not practicing the conversation, they are speaking full English. That's good. Thank you. Keep on going. And remember, it's spread sheets. No spread sheets, it's spread, spread sheets.
Okay, perfect. So let's get ready. Now, um, unos problemas que tuvimos, I heard some problems there, was with the word spreadsheets. Spread sheets, okay? Spread sheets. No spread. Me estaban diciendo spread. Spread. Spread sheets. Spread sheets. Spread sheets. Spread sheets. Okay. That would spread be... sheets. Sheets. Pero así, miren. Díganlo así, miren. Sheets. Porque si no están diciendo sheets. la palabra. ¿Verdad? Sheets. Sí. Así. Así. Sheets. Sheets. Que la otra palabra que es más sheets. fácil. La otra más fácil. No, la otra es más corta. La otra palabra es más corta. Alguna vez una persona me preguntó, no sé si fueron ustedes. ¿O ¿Quién fue que me dijo? No me acuerdo, pero me dijeron, ¿cómo se dice playa? Y la otra palabra, ¿verdad? No. Es, playa es beach. 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 ¿Ok? Beach. Porque es con ch, ch, ch. ¿Ok? Eso es beach. lo importante. Eso ya sonó la otra. <ríe> tengan cuidado, tengan cuidado, que esa palabra es peligrosa. Yo cuando estaba eh, empezando a aprender inglés, mejor lo que hacía era decirla así como más suave, bish, le decía yo, bish, para no equivocarme. Ya es como lo digo, ¿verdad? Pero la otra sí es un poco más seca, digamos, para decirla. Ok, vamos a elegir. We're gonna choose, I'm going to choose some participants. Oh, y quería felicitar. I want to congratulate the breakout room. Um, let me... Let me, let me, let me, let me. It was um, breakout room four. I heard Johnny and I think it was Veronica. They were speaking fully in English and they were saying, would you like to practice with me? Now let's switch the participants. Now let's switch the people. Now you're this, this person and I'm this person. They were doing really good at practicing. So thank you very much. I appreciate that you speak English and you practice even when you are not reading the conversation and you're just having a conversation with your classmates. That is really good. That will help you, okay? Now, let's choose two participants so we can read this conversation. I'm gonna choose um, Clelia and I'm gonna choose Rafael Antonio Hernandez. Okay, so Clelia, you're going to be André. And Rafael Antonio, you're uh -huh. going to be Pen. Um, hello, Ben, and welcome. My name is Sandra Rivera. Nice to meet you, Mr. Rivera. We are offering a manager position for a branch in Honduras. What qualification do you have for this job? Well, I can speak English. Also, also I can manage a small a big project and I am very good of sales. That sounds great. Can you speak Chinese? And what about using a spreadsheet? Can you use them? I can speak little Chinese, but I can't use a spreadsheet but I am fast learning. I get it. When can you start? Excellent. Good job. Give them an applause. Learner. Learner. Okay. Learner. Okay. Let's go now with, bum, 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 bum. let's see, Carlos and Veronica Burgos. Carlos, you're going to be Ben. Veronica, you're going to be André. Okay, I, I have to start. Yeah. Okay. Hello, Ben, and welcome. My name is Andrew Rivera. Nice to meet you, Mr. Rivera. We are offering a manager position for a branch in Honduras. What qualification do you have for this job? Well, I can't speak English. Also, I can manage a small and uh, big projects, and I am very good at sales. That sounds great. Can you speak Chinese? And what about using spreadsheets? Can you use them? I can speak little Chinese, 
but I, I can't use a spreadsheet, but I am a fast learner. I get it. When can you start? Good job, excellent. Let's give them an applause. That was really good, really, really good. Okay, now let's go with just two more participants. I'm gonna ask Ana Veronica, and I'm gonna ask Julio Aguillon. Okay. Ana, you start. Hello, Ben, and welcome. My name is Andre Rivera. Nice to meet you, Mr. Rivera. We are offering a manager position for a branch in Honduras. What qualification do you have for this job? Well, I can speak English. Also, I can manage small and big projects. And I am very good at sales. That sounds great. Uh, can you speak Chinese? And what about using espresso? Can you them? I can speak a little Chinese, but I can use speak too. But I am a fast learner. I get it. When can you start? Okay, good job. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. That was really good. Excellent. Good job. Un aplauso ahí. Just give them an applause. Si no envidia de la mala, de la que corro, de la que no deja dormir en la noche. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. So, now, <clears throat> we're going to continue. And remember, we are using can to talk about abilities. And in this case, there are um, they are talking about job abilities, abilities you need to have in a job, in a specific job. So here we have two questions at the like down the conversation, and we're gonna discuss them. So the first question we have, I'm gonna ask you, Johnny, can you please read the first question? Okay, what are some qualifications that are required for the position available? Okay, excellent. So as Johnny said. What are some qualifications that are required for the position? First of all, what is the position they are offering? Do you remember what is the position they are offering? Manager. Manager. They are offering a manager position. So what are some qualifications they expect people to have? Speaking English. Speaking English. Speaking English. Speak Chinese, and they want people to speak Chinese, Chinese. and, and can do a spread. Spread. and use spread sheets. Use yes. spreadsheets, right? Use spreadsheets. Yeah. People are saying that Chinese it's gonna become a really important language. I don't know about that, but people are saying that. <clears throat> Have you heard that? Han escuchado que Chinese is gonna become a really important language? Yes. Ay, si yo me le salgo del chat, yes. honestly. <laughs> that, uh, I don't know, it's difficult because it has another writing. The good thing about Spanish and English is we have the same letters. Well, we have ñ and they don't have ñ, but that's it. Then we have A, B, C, A, B, C, the same thing. But in Chinese, it's a different language with different letters and different stuff. It's, it's, it's. It's, I don't know. I'm out of the chat. Okay, let's go with question number two. Can you please, um, Jacobo, help me read question number two? So, uh, what are the qualifications for the work? Being a speak English manager, a small bit project, a speak a little Chinese. Okay, but this is, what are the qualifications for the work you do? This is going to be an individual question for everybody, okay? So, what are the qualifications you, in your job, are required to have? For example, in my job, I am required to speak English. Of course, that's the main one. I am required to know about teaching teaching styles and things like that. Also for this specific job that I have here, I am required to have a certification from INSAFORP that um, allows me to teach English in different levels, okay? 
and I am required to pass an interview to recognize my English level. So if I can teach basic, intermediate, and advanced English. So for this job, I am required to have that. For my job, my public job, public job, I am required to have a scalafon, which I don't know what is in English that. I am required to have an scalafon. I am required to travel to the school where I work. I am required to pass an exam. And I am required to know about teaching styles, to know how to teach and to know English, right? So now let's think about your job position. I want to know your job positions. Don't tell me what is your job position, okay? Don't tell me. Oh, miren, esto reconoce las manos. Levante alguien la mano. Solo háganle así. Oh, me reconoce las manos. Aquí me dice quién levantó la mano. Wow, interesting. Yeah. That's, that's interesting. Okay, okay. <laughs> Bien. Las dos manos no me las reconoce, just one. <laughs> okay, so no, esos manos arriba. <laughs> okay, so now let's think about the job position. Don't tell me the job position because I'm going to guess, we're going to guess the job position. Just tell the, um, the requirements you need for your job. Okay, you can write them. Okay, no lo van a hacer acá. Vamos, we're going to do it in the breakout room. We're going to do this activity in the breakout room. And then we're going to do it with some students here. But first, right now, before we go to the breakout room, think about the requirements your job needs. If you need help, you can text me, okay? You can send me a private message here on Zoom, and I will reply to you if you don't know how to say something. Think about at least three requirements for your job position, okay? Do you understand the activity we're doing in this moment? Miss, excuse me, Miss. Yeah. How do you say conocimiento? Knowledge. 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 Yeah, knowledge. Knowledge. Thank you, Miss. ¿Entendemos la actividad que estamos haciendo? Do we get the activity? No? If you no. don't get the activity, but yes, estamos please, haciendo. Yes. No, Eric? I got it. Sí, entiendo. Okay. So, for the ones that didn't understand, you I need. Don't carry. Okay. Okay. Listen to me. You need to think about three requirements for your job position. Okay. And write them. Don't send it to the chat. Don't be in a chat. Just write them. And then we're going to share that. Van a pensar en tres cosas que se requieren para tener la posición de trabajo que ustedes tienen. Las van a escribir y cuando vayamos al chat las van a decir para que todos adivinen cuál es la posición de trabajo que usted tiene. ¿Me entienden? You got it? For example, I can tell you. For my job, I need these three requirements. First, I need to speak English. Second, I need to know how to teach. And third, I need to have a certification. What is my job position? Uh, English teacher. English. An English teacher. Okay. okay, that's good. You got it? Okay, I understand the activity, but I, we, after we have to write where. We you have, have to, to write design. it, just write it in a piece of paper because we're going to uh, share, papers? we're going to share, yeah, yeah, that's for you because we're going to share that in the breakout rooms. What I have to share? Lo vamos a compartir in the breakout rooms, en las salas privadas. Okay. Okay, with groups, with small groups. This group, okay, mm -hmm. thank you. That's why I'm telling you, if you don't know how to say something, ask me now so I can help you how to write it. Miss, Miss, and excuse me, Miss. And uh, relation, relaciones internacionales, relationship. International. No, no, no. Relaciones interpersonales. Oh, interpersonal relationships. Interpersonal relationship. Okay. Relay, relay, relationships. Relationships. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. You see, that's, that's why I'm asking you to do it here, because if you don't know how to say something, 
you ask me, okay? Ah, para mientras hacen eso les iba a contar, ya se puede compartir pantalla, o sea, yo puedo compartirles pantalla, ustedes están en los breakout rooms y yo les comparto pantalla y les siguen viendo mi pantalla en los breakout rooms, así que no tienen que estar compartiendo ustedes. Encontré esa opción y la activé en Zoom. Thank you, Miss. When you're done, you can tell me I'm done. Remember, I'm done is terminé. Okay, you're ready? Are you done? Yes, okay. I'm ready, I'm ready. Okay, yeah. Okay. if you're ready, we're gonna go. Remember, this is the activity. I'm gonna say the three requirements for my job position. I'm not gonna say my job position. So my classmates, 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 my classmates have to guess the job position. Got it? Si hay alguien que no entiende, you can ask me. Yes, I understand. Yes. Got it? Got it? Yeah? yeah. Got it. Yes, I got, got it. Okay, got perfect. It. So, got you it. say this requirement, blah, blah, blah. What is my job position? And your classmates will guess it. Okay? So, we're going to go. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Get ready. Okay, perfect. Uh, okay, there we go. Let's go.
Fernando. Jocelyn, yo sé que está de oyente. Fernando, ¿está por ahí? Hello. Good evening. Okay, my uh, uh, manage project, manage CCTV and fire alarms, uh, use spreadsheets and knowledge maintenance equipment. Of James Soccer. Excuse me? Uh, of James Soccer, uh, Manage Sock. Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Um, for my, uh, my case, um, qualifications, position, of bullet is, um, Knowledge is um performance and uh, system operations, uh, manage uh, manage service and in Eric Maria. Eric, what about you? Miss missing Maria and Eric.
Yeah, Eddie. Come on, Eddie, come on. Like in Dora la Exploradora. Come on, Eddie, come on. Yeah. <laughs> Eric, are you there? Yes, I am here, but I'm not ready, means. Mm. Someone else? Maria. 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 <laughs> Can you repeat again, please, Mr. Jonathan, because uh, okay. I don't hear you. The okay. first. Please yes. slow. Um, the fear I can speak with customers for sale, products, and service. I speak with customer? Customer for sale. For sale. Products, sale. And products, attend. And service, yes. Service. The second, which one? The, the second, second. I can go a different place from the the apartment. You have to go have go to different place from the apartment. And the third? Number three, I can sell much smartphone. Okay, John, John. I have my John. I... No Sandra, sería, Yes, yes, Sandra. Okay. No knowledge in business administration. Encargada de administración. Yes, organization, human resources, <laughs> customer ah, support. Ah, no, si es de la cabaña del, si es de la cabaña del pericón, la dueña le vamos a poner. Vayan, 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 es bonito. <laughs> es que es mi smith. Ajá. Lo que pasa es que nosotros ya sabemos lo que trabajamos, entonces no. Ya, ya, es true. Es true. Ya todos se adivinaron todo. No, es que tenemos otros Solo compañeros. Solo uno creo pero... que nos falta. Nos fal... No, somos siete los que estamos. Candy. Híjole, somos cuatro. Seis. Está Miguel, ah, okay. Oscar, Sandra, Rafael, mm -hmm. Ana, Verónica y Candy. Sí, ahí okay. no hay nadie, porque ya, ya nos conocen, ya nos conocen todos. Ah, bueno. Oh. <risa> Finished? Did everyone participate?
sorry, Miss Alison. Yeah, I don't understand. All for now. Everyone participated? Yes, Miss. Yeah. Okay. Everyone. Okay, perfect. So we're going to go back to the main session. Okay, thank you. Hello. Welcome again. Se me escucha ronca la voz, o no? Soso? No, bueno, lo digo porque los que me, ella me conocía en la voz, no, no. A esos días atrás le he andado horrible. Menos mal que hasta ahora empezamos clase, porque el lunes, martes pasé ah, llorando. <risa> Crying, crying, and crying. Big girl, no cry. Big bad don't cry. Big, I was crying. <laughs> I was crying because I missed my students. That was I was crying. Yeah, I see. I see. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, well, the activity for some students was easy because they know each other and they know what they work what the job is but for some other students was difficult because maybe the requirements are very specific right and we don't get it we don't understand and sometimes it's difficult to understand what the person does so right now i will ask some participants to describe their job positions and we're gonna guess what the job position is let's start with root asensio Can you say the requirements for your job position, please? Okay. Number one is knowledge. Knowledge? Knowledge, thank you, of accounting and finance. Okay. Number two, personal manager. Management. Management? Yes. And number three, be a leader. Be a leader? Yes. Okay. Can you guess what the job position the root has is? Human resources. Human resources? No. Assistant administration? No. Administrative no. assistant? No? Administrative. Yes. Administrative? Accountant administrative? Yes. yes. Ah, okay, so it's accountant. She's an accountant. Okay. Okay, right. perfect. Good job. Let's go now with Verónica Burgos. Okay. It's so easy. Okay. Okay, the first have, have, have knowledge to manage employees. And number two, employees. And number two, have knowledge to make demands. And go to the, I don't know if yes, I have to say hearings or audience. 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 Yeah. Oh, you can say hearings. Hearings is better. Hearings. Okay. Okay. Go to. And the... The first is the most important is I have to be a lawyer. Ah. <laughs> so, 
Uh, uh, here is the obvious questions. Are you a lawyer? No, but I am the manager of manager. my office. Oh, because I have to, I have to uh, knowledge to manage. Employees. So you are the manager of a buffet. Yes. Ah, okay. I am. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Thank you, Veronica. Now let's go with Carlos. I can use custom system uh, prepare bills and co transport contracts and prepare custom documents. What is my work position? Prepare what? The last one? Customs documents. Custom. Okay. What is Carlos Alberto's job position? Prepare documents, prepare both. Accounting? Accounting, Carlos? No. Nope. Okay. Someone else? <laughs> that is, how do you say aduanas then? Yes, Custom. export agent or uh, logistics. Customs. Customs. Okay, so you are, what is it, Carlos? Export agent? Oh, your logistics. Okay, logistics. You you work with logistics. Okay, perfect. Excellent, Carlos. Good. Okay, so now we're going to talk about the abilities with Ken. This is something we have practiced already. This is an easy topic for you. Ken is something that we have practiced. You know, it's a modal verb. You don't you know that with the third person, you don't modify this verb because it's always Ken. You don't say uh, she cans or he cans, that is not correct. You say he can or she can, and that is the way we use it. So we have here, we use can when you want to name your abilities. So for abilities, and you use can't when you don't know how to do something or you don't have that ability, for example. So for example, here it says, I can speak three languages. In my case, I can only speak two languages. I can't use spreadsheets, but I'm a fast learner. This is a negative one, right? This is something that you have always, you, you have to say always if you want to get a job. Eso siempre lo tienen que decir si quieren tener un trabajo, right? I'm a fast learner. Aprendo rápido. Okay, mentira. Um, I can direct small projects or big projects. I can't use this program but I'm a fast learner as well. Now, here we have some examples. We have one, two, three, four, five examples, and we need to complete them with can or can't according to the context. For example, in the number one says, I'm sorry, I help you today. I'm really busy. So according to the context, do you think it's can or can't? Can't. 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 Okay. Now, send me the answers uh, to number two, three, four, and five to the chat, to Zoom chat. Just choose me. And for example, said one, can't, two, mm -mm, three, this. Not the whole sentence, just the answers. Do you understand the activity? Yes. Okay. Yes, me. And you say, hey, I don't understand. Can you explain? I'm sorry. I can help you today. I'm really busy. I just.
Ok, ya tengo la primera respuesta. It's all good. I'm waiting for the other ones. Okay, I tengo solo only three answers. Y los demás, what is happening? Only three people. I only have Ramiro. I only have Carlos, Sandra, Blanca this time. En la número 2 se me están equivocando varios. Miren bien el contexto. Let's look very well to the context so you can understand what it says. Okay, we're gonna give an answer to it right now. Okay, number two, you're gonna read it completely, okay? I'm gonna ask the person to read it and you're gonna read it with the answer, okay? The full sentence with the answer. Let's go with, um, Silvia Patricia, read number two with the answer, please. I just can't manage to wake up on time. I am always late. Excellent. Thank you, Silvia. So, yes, if this person is always late, so it can't manage to wake up on time. I just can't, can't. Okay. Excellent. Let's go with the third person, the three, number three. We're going to go with. Uh, 
Miguel, can you help me with number three, please, Miguel? Miguel Angel, are you there? Uh, sí, miss. Okay. Look, okay. it's right there. Can you see it? It's so obvious. Can you see it? It's so obvious. Okay. Now that I'm here um, looking at this um, question, I think it's a tag question. Así se le llama en inglés. Tag questions. So look, it's right there. Can you see it? It's so obvious. I think this case is going to be negative. Okay, you guys. Number three is going to be can't you see it? Que no lo puedes ver? So look, it's right there. Can't you see it? It's so obvious. Okay. You got it? Number three is going to be can't. Okay, number four. Let go, let's go with number four, Blanca Isabel. Okay. I am... Um... I can speak German. I lived in Germany for eight years. Correct. Good job. Thank you. Maria Olivar, can you help me with number five, please, Maria? And welcome to the class. Nice to have you here. Maria, are you there? Nope. Ana Veronica, can you help me? Number two. Yeah, number five. Ah, number five. Yeah. Uh, she doesn't have a driving license. She can't drive a car. Okay, excellent. Can you repeat this word, license? License. license. Excellent, yes. License. 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 Yes. Ramiro, oh my goodness, your voice sounds too, too strong. It's like. Yes, miss. Uh, I can, I use uh, my new headphones. Headset? Yes. Oh, <laughs> okay. Like you're like me now. Like you're the teacher now. Like uh, yours. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it sounds, it that that is good, really good. I like these things because the noise around me you cannot hear the noise okay no it is let me los lo me is very cheap cheap <laughs> yeah <laughs> now in my case this is my machete machete right uh, yes. in English, this is my machete so i have to spend a lot of money yes they, i know you can see they are brand, brand oh brand. gbl yeah. yeah they are quantum Quantum three, I think, or quantum, yeah, quantum something. Me is a Radio Chuck. <laughs> well, well, I bought him at Radio Chuck, so <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, good. Okay, now we're gonna do an activity right now, and you know how to do these activities that we do, and we're gonna go with um, Ken and Ken. I'm gonna share my screen right now with you. Okay, so this is the activity we're going to complete in this moment. So we have different names. These names are very Sirin, Husnu, Ibrahim. So very, I don't know, Indian names, I think, or I don't know, Arabian names, something like that. Okay, so, but we're going to see what the activities they can do. And we are going to see right here, for example, Sirin, ride a bike. Let's go and look Sirin, ride a bike? Yes, but, right? So Sirin can ride a bike, but she, mm -hmm, drive. Sirin drive, but she, he says yes, right? Dice que se puede manejar, yeah? No, dive, it's dive, not drive. Oh, dive, I'm sorry, didn't see that. She can't dive. Usun. Do puzzles. This dive. Dive, this is like bucear. Oh, okay. Thank yeah. you. Mm -hmm. So, Husun, do puzzles. You know what is a puzzle? No, miss. I don't know. Okay. Exactly, exactly. That's what it is a puzzle. Anything puzzle. like it. Mm -hmm. So, for example, Husun, 
do puzzles. Husun puzzles? No, right? So Husun can't. can't do puzzles, but he climb a tree. But he can, right? Um, climb a tree. Yeah. So this can activity you're gonna be doing, <laughs> then you're gonna do click here, comprobar mis respuestas, and then you're gonna send the grade to the chat. Después van a mandar la nota al chat, okay? So the screenshot of the grade. I'm gonna send you the link. Les voy a enviar. I'm gonna send you right now the link. Ya saben lo que vamos a hacer para los que son nuevos conmigo. Solo comparten pantalla, van haciendo el ejercicio con sus classmates. Toman un screenshot de la nota. You send it to the WhatsApp group, okay? That's it. That's all we have to do. Let's go recreate the rooms. <coughs> Okay, let's go.
¿Cuál es? Terminado. De, yo creo que sí, terminado es. Uy, hay 20. una. Ok. Husno. Husno can die, but he can't drive a car. Vamos a ver. Husno can die. Aquí está. Vaya, 10 de 10, ahí Husno estamos. can. <ríe> Me equivocamos en otro. Bueno, ahí está. Hello, welcome back again. So, um, as you know, this topic is really easy. It's not so complicated. The only thing you have to do is talk about abilities when can. También se puede utilizar, you can also use it for permission, but it's not so formal. For permission, it's better if you use may, okay? So, may I come in? May I um, go out? May I go to the restroom or may? That is for permission, that it's more formal for permission. Now, um, voy a hablar en español de este tema porque es una cosa que quisiera que quedara clara. Y es lo siguiente. Um, siempre se hace el 10 minutos de quedarse con los participantes al final de la clase, con un, un orden específico de participantes al final, para que ustedes aclaren alguna duda que tengan y cosas así, ¿verdad? Pero uh, yo sé que a veces no hay dudas y si no se quieren quedar, pues está bien. También tampoco se les va a obligar. Pero si en algún momento si quieren quedar esos 10 minutos, me gustaría que me digan, ¿verdad? Hoy me voy a quedar esos 10 minutos porque necesito refuerzo en ese tema. Y siempre me pueden decir así, se quedan esos 10 minutos extra conmigo cualquier día. El orden sugerido es el orden de asistencia, pero no puedo hacerlo así porque si la persona no tiene dudas, no tiene dudas, right So, um, vamos a dejarlo abierto siempre como lo he dejado en todos los módulos para que ustedes decidan el día que se van a quedar, pero solo una persona, ¿verdad? La, primero que me diga, la primera persona que me diga se queda. ¿Entendidos en ese tema? ¿Got it? Yes, yes. yes I got it. it. I got it. Got it. Okay, perfect. I got it. Vamos a pasar la última attendance. We're going to go with the last attendance. Ana Verónica Hernández Rodríguez. Present. Blanca Isabel Tunacada Rodríguez. Cándida Luz Ortiz de Escalante. Present, Miss. Carlos Alberto Meléndez Rosales. Present. Clelia Estela Flores Hernández. Eric Giovanni Jiménez Canizales. Present. Eh, Eric Josué Reyes Molina. Present teacher. Fernando Salvador Figueroa Rosales. Present Miss. Jacobo de Jesús Gómez Gómez. Present Miss. Jenis Carolina Vázquez de Medrano. Johnny Alexander Escobar Calderón. Here me is present. Jonathan José Oliva Enríquez. Present Miss. Um, José Alfredo Hueso López. Present teacher. Jocelyn Angelina Ramírez Melgar. Uh, Julio César Aguillón Arevalo. Present. María Julia Ramos Olivar. Miguel Ángel Romero Hernández. 
Por ahí se me es. Oscar René Calidon, Molina Calidonio. Okay. Miss, I, miss, today I did not feel the class. You didn't feel the class? It went fast? Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's good, that's good. Rafael, Me too. uh, yeah, that's good, that's good. It means you were having fun. Rafael Antonio Hernández Castillo. Pressing is Rafael Antonio Martínez Navarrete. Pressing is Ramiro Rafael Aguilar Díaz. Present is Ruth Guadalupe Asensio Arevalo. Present is Sandra Yanira Gómez Romero. Present is Silvia Patricia Aceituno Méndez. Present is En Verónica Elizabeth Burgos Rivas. Present is Perfect. Okay. So that will be it for today. And I will uh, wait for you tomorrow. Same time. Sandra. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Uh, Thank you. I appreciate. Good night. Yeah, Tomorrow? vamos a hacer los homeworks tomorrow. Yeah, don't worry. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, remind me earlier. Me acuerdo más temprano. Okay, bye. Thank you. Good evening. Bye. Have a good evening. Have a good night. Good night. Bye, miss. Good night. Bye. See you Have tomorrow. a good night. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Take care. Bye. Bye, Blanca. Gracias. Okay.